Okay, I'm here with the team from Appalachian State University, and I'm talking to Ed Pavia. And Ed, what's the name of your project? Uh, we have the uh, Solar Homestead. Okay, and, and what's the concept behind that name? The concept is basically, uh, since we, uh, we're from Boone, North Carolina, uh, we're up in the more mountainous regions, we're trying to go back to the homestead concept, where smaller living spaces, uh, easier to work with, adaptable, modular, to where you can add and subtract what you need, not overbuilding, just enough space for a small family. So. Okay, now how many square feet are we at? Uh, we're just under 1,000 square feet, uh, okay. just what the competition asked us to do. Um, our, of course, the, the outside building area here is not included in our square feet, so our square footage is mainly just our main center hub here. It yep. consists of two bedrooms with a central core. That central core offers all of our mechanicals, our plumbing, and our bathroom. On the, on the far side of the central core is our living space, which in a sense we call a flex space, which is a kitchen which can be closed off and turned into a dining room, which then can be changed into a living room. So it's a very adaptable space. We're also experimenting with changing the sizes of the bedrooms. If you need a master or a smaller bedroom, you'll be able to move the walls a little bit. So they're basically all large, movable walls inside. And that is a concept we're working with. We don't have that yet, but that is something yeah, that we'd like to do because as flexible as we can make the space as possible. Now tell me about the outside appearance. Is that a giant skylight on the top of the flat roof? It actually, it's a solar thermal skylight. It's, okay. It's, it acts as a uh, daylight, so it brings in daylight to the entire space. Yep. But it also acts as solar thermal, uh, supplying hot water to the entire main unit. Okay. And what about the panels uh, or over the uh, the deck? The deck. It, that is actually our, our, our best and greatest feature. Uh, okay. Those are called outbuilding modules, which we refer to as OMs. Okay. Uh, and basically, each one of those, as you see, are detachable, and they can be used as their own unit. You could actually put that to the back of a small pickup truck and drive off with it. Okay. And you could drive to a campsite, construction site, music concert, festival, and you can have a covered patio, which the the, uh, the PV panels are bifacial, which means they're translucent. Yep. So you can sit underneath them, have light. You can also create your power off of it. You can put it at a campsite and power tents and hot water and all that. It's basically very adaptable to how many you ever need for your house you can add or you can subtract. And we have a lot of people that are interested in actually producing this module after the competition and selling it in their stores. Now, what, what size is each one of those modules? Uh, they're 18 feet long by 8 feet wide. So you can actually ship them and get under any type of clearance and any bridges. Okay. Uh, when we actually go to uh, uh, D.C. or where the new location will be, uh, we break it into three modules here, which are 18-wheeler modules, seven modules here, which are pulled behind a pickup trucks. So we'll have ten different modules. Ten different transports, yes. But it yeah. will be smaller because they'll be pickup trucks. Right, yeah, and that is that is one of our key features. That grand deck is, is, is just an amazing feature. It offers a lot of outdoor space, and basically you can you know detach it from the house and use it as a construction site, you know, power supply. You can also, uh, over here, we have it built in as an indoor kitchen. You can mm -hmm. also use them for storage. A lot of different features. And on the far side of that is our flex, is our actual flex space, which is an additional uh, 12 by 12 modular that can be added as a mother-in-law suite, an office, uh, basically anything you want that has its own electricity and own hot water built right into the canopy. And what is, this seems pretty pricey for this whole setup. Not really, actually. Uh, talking with a lot of the other teams, we actually have seemed to fall kind of in the lower bracket. We're looking between two hundred and fifty and three hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Where the ceiling in the competition is six hundred thousand. Okay. So we're on the small. We're on the low twenty percent end of the of the, the product. We're using basically eighty percent of our materials right now are coming from North Carolina. Yep. So we're doing and a lot of green material that we're using. So. And what are you hoping to do with the house after you're done? Um, two different ways. Uh, either uh, the chancellor of our school is very interested in adding it to a to a learning center, building. A around it. Uh, we, we have a huge sustainable department at App. We're one of the best in the country for it. Or our large sponsor is actually uh, considering using it as, as a model for a new home track oh. and beginning producing the house. So we have a lot of different options. We do not want to just sell it to somebody and use it as a private home. That's not why we built this home. Right. Uh, we would really like this to take off and be the home of the future and get that square footage down that a lot of people are living in nowadays and reduce that, that imprint. So. Well, it's very cool. Can't wait to see it. Good Excellent. luck to you. Appreciate it.